is Wynne and welcome to my channel. This is uh, a bonus video because not on the day that I'm filming this <laughs> but the day that this goes up it is Peter Cushing's birthday on the 26th of May. Um, interestingly or rather amazingly um, Cushing was born on um, the anniversary <laughs> of um, the publication of Bram Stoker's novel Dracula. I nearly said Bram Stoker's Dracula, but of course there's, we now have the film with Gary Oldman by the same name. So the novel written by uh, Stoker, not the film. Um, <laughs> because, well, that film came out in the 90s and Peter Cushing was born in 1913. Um, I am really bad at maths <laughs> and I would ordinarily use an age calculator but I don't have masses of time to film this um, but I do want it to go out um, on the day. I have some things to do tomorrow so I'm not going to be able to film on that day um, and as such I've not had time to um, research everything. Um, I spent long enough um, trying to um, find <laughs> a long enough list um, for today's video which is um, a little, um, little I suppose um, honourable mention um, exhibition if you will for those born in the month of May and unfortunately um, <laughs> whilst I did find quite a few um, a number of the people that I was looking for you know directors like Terence Fisher and Freddie Francis um, and other actors like um, and other actors they weren't actors and Cushing's fellow actors um, people like Robert Powell um, Robert Powell, <laughs> um, somebody else, Peter Woodthorpe, um, even women, um, any female actress, any of kind of Hammer's screen queens like Barbara Shelley, for example, and Hazel Court. Unfortunately, a lot of them were born kind of January, February, November came up quite a lot when I was doing my Googling. Um, but, uh, yeah. Sorry if the angle seems a little bit different. I just had to pause uh, the filming of this so that I could tell my brother to turn something down. I don't know if you can hear it. I might just be, be being a little bit paranoid. Um... <laughs> But uh, anyway, because <laughs> I, I do have um, an editing software that I use on my phone. I am looking to upgrade if I maybe, um, if I become slightly more successful on YouTube. I'm aware that right now my audience isn't very big and I'm fine with that. I'm fine if it never, um, never turns out to be huge. I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> but uh, apologies if you, if you can hear something. It's probably annoying me more than it's annoying you. It's likely that this is not picking it up. So apologies if it is picking it up, but um, my mum's in a meeting, so there's only so much yelling downstairs that I can do. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so it did take me quite a while to compile this list, and I am working on... Um, I'm trying to memorise this list that I compiled earlier today. If I do miss anybody, and of course I will, if I miss anybody that I had planned to mention in this video, then I will put their name at the end. Um, but please let me know in the comments if you can think of anyone that I missed. Specifically, as I believe I said, um, all of these people have at least some kind of spooky, horror, murder mystery, supernatural connection. Um, so, 
yes, <laughs> all the best people are born in May and all the spookiest people are born in May. Well, not all of them, a lot of them. First of all, Peter Cushing, of course, born on the 26th of May, as I said. But then also um, we have Vincent Price and um, Christopher Lee who share a birthday. Um, I realise that I'm talking about them in the present tense. I think I mentioned like in my first video it is so hard for me to talk about them in the past tense because um, I've immersed myself so much in their careers and, you know, their biographies because um, I've done an awful lot of research into them that it kind of feels <laughs> like I know them as much as one can know a celebrity. Um, I, you know, I, 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 obviously I wouldn't automatically be their friends if they were still um, up and about today, um, just because I know a lot about them. But um, yeah, I, I don't majority of the actors that I do love and talk about in these videos unfortunately are no longer here and we are getting to a point now where a number of um, wonderful people um, are getting on quite a bit now. Um, I've still not got over Gene Wilder's death. Christopher Lee of course died I think in 2015 um, and I think that was the same year as Alan Rickman and David Bowie. Uh, David Bowie, of course, wasn't an... Well, no, he did do a bit of acting, actually. Ignore me. Um, but uh, yes, May birthdays. <laughs> okay, so 23rd of May, uh, not only is it three days before Peter Cushing's birthday, but I also share a birthday with Joan Collins. Um, she starred in at least two films of him that I can think of off the top of my head, and that was uh, Tales from the Crypt and uh, Fear in the Night. Um, she only starred alongside him in the same scenes. Um, in fact, did they have any scenes together? Oh, I don't know. Um, but she played Cushing's wife in Fear in the Night, whereas she was in um, a separate like segment for Tales from the Crypt. Segment, of course, because Tales from the Crypt is an amicus portmanteau. I am looking to do a video on the portmanteaus um, very soon, so um, stay tuned um, to the channel, that is, and hopefully there'll be something on that very soon. There's just almost too much to talk about. <laughs> um, Joan Collins. She also starred in this um, amazing um, portmanteau called um, Tales That Witness Madness. Um, I realise I'm a little bit disorganised because I'm not showing you the DVD covers and I'm not quite sure if I can work out how to like add pictures um, to the screen in the editing process. I will put film posters and things. Um, but yeah, I'm still very new to this kind of whole video and editing shebang. So please excuse me. But Tales of Witness Madness, nothing to do with Hammer, nothing to do with Amicus. Um, no Peter Cushing. But um, Donald Pleasance has a role in that, so does Charles Gray, or possibly, actually, um, I think he's either dubbed over or dubs another actor, I can't quite remember, it's a little bit random. Um, but yeah, Tales of Witness Madness, um, she's in a hilarious segment with like an evil tree, um, so please seek that out if you haven't already. A um, couple of Hammer directors uh, Peter Sadzi and uh, John Gilling they were both born in May and then a couple of Hammer mainstays we've got Thorley Walters who starred in uh, two Frankensteins so that was um, Frankenstein Creative Woman and Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed um, brilliant brilliant value that man um, he was also uh, he also appeared in Sherlock Holmes Smarter Brother as um, Douglas Wilmer's um, Holmes's guest appearance. Um, right, jump on my up. <laughs> Douglas Wilmer appeared as Sherlock Holmes in the Gene Wilder film Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother, and Thorley Walters played his uh, Watson. And um, I am pretty sure that Douglas Wilmer's Watson was. 
um, Nigel Green, um, but um, he did appear in that film. I will check that, but I'm pretty sure it was just Nigel Green. I'm hoping to get the Douglas Wimmer box set one day. There's too many things that I need to buy. Um, Dolly Walters, and then there's also Miles Mallison, who um, had a very long career, <laughs> seemingly. I mean, he appeared in um, Hammer's The Hound of the Baskervilles and also in The Brides of Dracula. Um, but also, um, if I remember rightly, I believe he's in um, Dead of Night, which is a 1940s portmanteau. And indeed, the um, main source of inspiration um, for Milton Sapolsky and Max J. Rosenberg, who were the two um, co-founders of Amicus. Um, he is often playing the kind of comic relief character. Um, but again, always worth a watch when Miles Mallison is appearing in a film. Um, let me... who else? Um, oh yes, two Hitchcock-related people that I found. Um, Janet Lee, who was in Psycho, um, and then also um, James Stewart as well, also born in May. Um, I think I, I think I mentioned earlier, sorry, I'm a little, my mind's a little foggy today. I think I mentioned earlier that I didn't find that many like women in this kind of uh, pretty niche um, genre, if you will, um, of people uh, or type of people that I was that I was looking for. But um, I believe the final woman um, on my list is uh, Joanna Lumley, who um, first and foremost isn't a horror actress. But uh, she did star as Peter Cushing's um, niece, Jessica Van Helsing, in Stanley Writes of Dracula, as Stephanie Beecham, who played said role um, in the film, um, in the previous film, Dracula AD 1972, was unable um, to play the part. Um, so, yeah, Joanna Lumley, brilliant actress. Um, I've not seen her in um, many of her projects as a younger woman. Um, off the top of my head though, um, slightly changing um, subject, there is a brilliant uh, sitcom that she re re recently starred um, in with Roger Allen um, called Conversations from a Long Marriage, I believe, on Radio 4. Pretty sure it's available to listen to at the moment. I will put the link in the description. If it is, sorry if it isn't, um, that's, um, you know, just uh, an ageing couple who have lived together for a very long time but are always having uh, silly little squabbles, it's um, it's very good fun. Um, but yeah, I've not seen many things of Joanna Lumley and it's a shame. If you have any recommendations, particularly of the horror variety, but then, as I said, I don't think she was in many horror films. I may be wrong, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, um, yeah, please pop any recommendations in the comments, I really appreciate it. Um, okay, I believe the last two people I have to share with you, who are also born in May, um, in fact, the day that I'm filming this, is it 25th or the 24th today? I believe it's the 25th, yes, it's the 25th today, 26th tomorrow. The day before, so the 24th, was the joint birthday of um, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author of uh, the Sherlock Holmes stories, and Laurence Olivier. Um, Arthur Conan Doyle, of course, wrote murder mystery stories, um, which I suppose you could regard as spooky. Um, and he was also of the spiritualist persuasion and uh, believed in fairies. Um, I recently picked up a copy of his book, The Coming of Fairies, um, from my local library. Um, that really is worth a read. He makes a pretty convincing argument, uh, were it not for the fact that unfortunately the Cotton Leaf Fairies um, we now know to be a hoax. <laughs> um, 
and then the last person I have is um, the last person I have in case uh, unless I have forgotten somebody is Laurence Olivier um, again not really a horror actor but he did star in Sleuth alongside Michael Caine another brilliant film um, I'd say it's more of like a kind of a thriller but it does have its slightly disturbing elements um, and um, he cast Cushing in his production of Hamlet or possibly in a production of Hamlet. I don't know how many he did. I'm sorry, I'm not a Shakespearean actor expert. I do apologise um, for anybody in the audience who might be. Um, and I think I mentioned in the video that I did with my dad last week that he met Cushing years before um, and was very <laughs> pleased with... Um, Cushing's refusal to do an American accent because he knew that he couldn't um, and of course that proved that Cushing wasn't um, this like dashing young so-and-so who believed um, that he could do anything and everything. <laughs> um, he said he'd remember him and of course he did because he then cast him in Hamlet. Um, I believe that's everybody that I have for you today. Um, I'm aware that this is a shorter video than I normally do, um, but uh, I just thought I couldn't let um, tomorrow go by without marking it in one shape or form. Um, happy birthday to Peter Cushing, wherever you are. Um, I know that I'm not the only one um, whose life has been uh, changed for the better by the wondrous legacy that you have left behind. Um, I will be back on Sunday, hopefully with a part two to the video that I did with my dad um, last week, which was um, a discussion of Cushing versus Lee, although it's a lot more kind of friendly and less um, competitive than it sounds. Um, but we do have a family um, gathering, perfectly COVID friendly, I promise, on uh, Saturday. And um, we would, I think, ordinarily film on that day, um, but we'll be busy. I'm going to try and get it done on Friday. Um, if for some reason we're, not, we're unable to get it done, I will still have a video out for you. Um, and I believe I said um, in not last week's video, but the video before, what was I talking about then? Um, I think that might have been um, my religion and horror films video. Um, I believe I mentioned in that one that I would do um, a video on universal horror, the universal classic monster movies, if I wasn't able to do the video with my dad. So I will stick to that again. Um, this week um, but there will be a video for you on Sunday I promise thank you so so much for watching as I said let me know if you think I missed anybody in the comments and um, yeah happy birthday Peter Cushing and thank you to everybody who ha is continuing to engage with my content I really do appreciate it take care of yourself take care of yourselves bye